I hate double standards. Bird of body at a crematorium. You're being a respectful friend. Do it at home and you're destroying it. <laughs> that is good. <laughs> My son tells his father I have an imaginary girlfriend. The father says, you know you could do better. Thanks, Dad, the son says. The father shakes his head and goes, I was talking to your girlfriend. Keep them coming. Keep them coming. This is getting me through the day. Because it's so hot. Even the AC is not keeping me cool. Um, what part am I on right now? So right now, uh, for my whole list I have here, this is where Noche, a.k.a. Sombra Flores, is going to pretty much kill their agents. And then she's going to finally open up about the truth about what happened to her. So right now, they portrayed her as the traitor that tried to sell weapons to the terrorist and when they tried to stop her she suicide bombed the building to stop pretty much stop them so um what happens in this part is she's gonna have a one-on-one -on -one with him to explain everything that happened because she sees that he has abilities, right? He, uh, he has um, fire and he has ice. So he is kind of like, okay, like maybe we can help each other. So she tells him the truth. And on this part, uh, the truth is she was the undercover agent that was in there and found out that the terrorists were hired by the government. So she tried to stop them. And when they found out, they warned the terrorists that she was undercover and they are the ones that blew the building up and which was supposed to kill her, but it did not. It transformed her into this shadowy figure. So now she is trying to get revenge on the people that did this to her. But not only that, she is going to tell him that she wants help in getting a body. So this part is she's going to try to get a body so she can finally come back out of the shadowy form to be a human again. But the problem is, can she really be human? How does she get back into a body, especially if hers was totally, you know, evaporated by the explosion? So that's where she's trying to work with. That's where she asks uh, Fusion here for help to see what he can do. And uh, let me see my notes. And then so he says he's going to help her. And then the next chapter after that is while he is at the FBI he is secretly working on a way to help her when they find out they try to capture him and they do capture him but Noche aka Sombra Flores comes in the building because she's just a shadow and takes her to the shadows to save him and when she does she blows up the uh, lab that was being created to hold her so they cannot capture her anymore so but she self-destructs but she can just re-put herself back together because she's just a shadow um, so she does that, kills the FBI in there, but what they find out is that Captain Winchester and Dr. Satine did not know this, so that's when Fusion saves them, gets them out, and then they kind of work together, them three, to find a way to help her. Uh, then after that, the next part is he, Fusion and Dr. Satine finally finds a way to bring her out of a shadowy form, Pretty much by like downloading her to an AI body. Uh, once she's in this AI body, uh, the FBI are after him. And as they get closer, oh, and then this terrorist event is still about to happen. So she finally self-destructs, killing herself in this AI body, stopping the terrorists, stopping the rest of the bad FBI with Fusion's help and with Captain Winchester's help. And then, so the FBI, the the main one that started the whole thing, tells him that he is pretty much paints him as a hero. Yeah, exactly. Yep, exactly. That's exactly what I was thinking. Putting her in an AI body. That's the only way to do it. Um, so when she self destructs, she kind of eradicates her own memory because she's now just like a computer chip. So it, they think that she's gone now because the chip blew up. And uh, that was a great that was a great guess. <laughs> And it's the only thing that makes sense, right? Because you, you can't really put her in another body as a, as a shadow. Um, so then uh, the FBI, after she self-destructs, stops the whole event happening. FBI contacts uh, Captain Winchester, Fusion, and Dr. Satine saying that like they painted them as the heroes for stopping this evil shadow. 
they pretty much say, hey, you know, we don't need to capture you. We know where you're at, and we can pretty much take you at any time. Uh, then the mayor gives them the key to the city, and when they get the key to the city, a little electronic thing comes on, kind of foreshadowing or kind of hinting that uh, Sombra is still alive, and she is just now downloaded as a computer on, like, the web. Possible. It, it might not happen when you get to that extent, but that's what he, he wanted me to leave off with a... Um, uh, like a cliffhanger, and that's the kind of the cliffhanger I'm, cliffhanger I'm thinking of. Is like, she doesn't die. Government is still after him. He's still doing everything good, so he's still a good guy, and he's trying to keep the FBI from doing anything bad. And that's kind of what I'm thinking. That maybe the AI will kind of be like, "Hey, I got into their system. I know what they're doing. I'll keep you updated, so you can keep an eye on them while they keep an eye on you." Kind of a thing. You know, 